plant water. And so um, what it is, is I chose this idea because usually um, sometimes my, the plants die. And so and because we forget to water them or we, or it, we, def, we don't know when to water them. And so then why it is needed is so that our plants can actually survive in our house if we want them to. And then how it works is that there's like this compartment where you can put water in. Then there's a small tube that goes up and into the soil. And so then it can produce water. And so then these are my sketches. The first one, I put it straight, but I decided not to do that one because then you would have to put a hole in the pot, which is not really good. So then I changed it to this. And so then I first prototype, I did it on Tinkercad. And then my second one was out of cardboard. Cardboard. My, my creation is called Eco Factory. And, um, an eco factory is it's powered by windmills and solar panels depending on the weather and since solar panels take a lot of energy to produce i'm experimenting in instead of the glass on the top or using uh, more materials you could use plastic this creation of mine is trying to solve the biggest problem in the world world plastic and pollution and um okay um this is my sketch and my physical prototype that I made. Um, um, it's powered by, well, the product that, how it's gonna make the products is with 3D printers that are gonna, like, the resources that it's gonna use is mostly out of recycled plastic. And instead of making two types of, um, a, a solar panel and a windmill it's going to be kind of connected into a solar windmill and uh this is my tinkercad prototype uh, the f it comes with a vessel that collects plastic from the sea like the one that i believe is called waste shark and that's how um and that's where uh where the 3d printers will get all of their resources and um there, it also includes with an app that is like you can instead of like making like a bunch of like bottles over and over again you can use like what you really really need besides just wasting a bunch of plastic what i made i call it the cleaner sheets 2000 is by me and i'm part of the 4c invention society i chose this idea to help me and other people clean their teeth or brush them whenever they want. If you forget to brush your teeth, you can carry the cleaner tooth housing around in its carrier. I want to make sure everybody has healthy teeth and I don't I want to make sure that everybody has clean teeth so their mom won't yell at them. Um so my sketch is basically it's like the fosters that I have at my home. It has a holder and then it goes out, but on the top, you can add floss in or a bristles in to brush your teeth. So my first model is on Tinkercad. Um, it was very hard to get it in the exact shape. And then my final design was still on Tinkercad because I don't have enough resources to make all this. So it has a carrier, which is the big orange thing. And then I changed some of the colors around and uh, that's basically it. I'm a pre evaluator. Um, this is a device to scan coins inside of coin wrappers. Um, I chose it because I think a lot of people would benefit from it, like people who work in banks. Um, how it works is it scans the coin rolls and it tells you if all of the coins belong and if they don't, which ones don't. Um, those are coin wrappers. Um, here are my sketches. Um, this is my first prototype and something I changed was the general shape so that it's sturdier. Um, this is my final design. 
um, a final revision was showing where the wrong coin was on the bar, if you can see it in the side. And then important feature is dissecting it. Something I learned was that the prototyping part helped best because I kind of knew what the idea would be in the sketch and I made it look nicer in the final design. And I think an advantage of working in partnerships is that you can generate more ideas. Feeder, uh, it's a device that helps you feed a pet. I made it uh, for my cat. If you have any questions, you see the email. Uh, so, uh, the, it, I told you how I got the idea, uh, but, uh, can you go to the next page? Uh, how I got the idea was, uh, I've always have to feed my cat and give him water and I wanted a way so that I could, uh, feed my cat without having to put up, put in as much effort is, uh, and that's how I thought of it. And it's needed to reduce human labor and uh, to help more people get pets. Uh, for example, uh, if a parent says, no, you can't get that dog or cat because you're not gonna feed it or give it water. Instead of saying, oh no, I will, I will for sure. You could say, we have the figgy feeder. Uh, and then the problem I'm trying to solve again, uh, human later and not, not having to give your pets food uh, and pet you, uh, pet owners will use it. And can you go back to the slide? Well, how it works is I'm just gonna, okay, I can't, but you see the tube that runs down from the big box. You put the water, this is a water device. You put the water in the top and it will automatically hold the water until that blue line in the bowl, would, it would sense how low it is at the blue line. And at that point, it would release the amount of water and it would fill, refill the bowl. 15 seconds left. That is done, I'm it, that's done.